Come on, Milton. Good boy. Good boy, Milton. Madeline. Come here, Maddie. Good girl. Good girl, Maddie girl. Why do you have a wet nose? Why is your nose wet? Good morning, guys. It is almost time for me to work out. Uh, but, you know, before I work out, I normally have a zip fizz, right? So, I opened the refrigerator to get some water out in order to do my zip fizz shake. And look what I saw in the refrigerator. So, I opened the door and boom. I'm confronted by a loose pork chop. See that right there? That is just a pork chop with a bite taken out of it, sitting on top of a carton of eggs. Not wrapped in anything, not on a plate, even like a loose pork chop. Now y'all know that that's not my pork chop. Oh no, no, I don't eat meat on a bone like that. And if I did, gall darn it, I would have at least put it on a plate. But hey, that's my husband for you. That's Richard, everybody. Do you know that guy? You'll see him later. But uh, what, a, what a way to start the morning by just opening your refrigerator to find a loose pork chop. Does your spouse or partner or you, do you do anything like that? Like, what are your requirements for putting something in the refrigerator? Like, does it depend on how long it intends to stay there? Like, if you put that in there yesterday and it's gonna eat it today, is that okay? Is it ever okay to put something <laughs> uncovered <laughs> like that in the refrigerator? Like, I need answers because I would never do that. But that's why I love my husband so much, because he just, he is a completely different person from me. So, happy pork chop, everyone. Good morning, guys. It is time for the zip to shake, and today we are having, bam, peach mango. Absolute favorite. Oh, this is one of my favorite flavors. I am so glad to have it this morning. to reaching your goals and to making yourself proud. Mm. Oh, and to peach mango. Mm. The superior one and only peach mango. Okay guys, I am done. I've been done with my weightlifting. I am just finishing up an hour and 10 minutes on the bike. I absolutely love riding the bike. Like this has become my habit and I'm obsessed. I love exercising for this long amount of time in the morning. First of all, because it feels great. Second of all, because it gives me something to do and it actually keeps me from eating. So it pushes my eating window further to around 10 o'clock, uh, 10, 15. So I'm going to take care of the dogs, do the YouTube live, uh, and then it'll be time to eat. Okay guys, I am going to have my first meal of the day. It is, uh, of course, cello wisps. And then I really enjoyed having that uh, Tillamook zero sugar black pepper beef jerky last week so i'm gonna have that again i'm gonna have an ounce of this and then an ounce in each of these uh today i'm gonna be eating a lot of different stuff which is really exciting for me so normally i eat like oh man with the exception of my morning snack then i usually just have my big meal and dessert all at the same time and then like i'm pretty much done at one o'clock i've been finding lately that i am a little hungrier at the end of the day and that's bad because all my macros are already spent, right? So I don't have anything extra. So it was causing me to overeat. Whereas now I think if I plan to have like a bunch of little snacks throughout the day, then that way I can eat a little later and it'll satisfy me into the night and through my fasting day tomorrow. So I'm still eating the same macros. I'm just spreading them out over like an eight hour window. So what is it? It's nearly 1030 right now. That means I have up to 630 to uh, finish my macros. But honestly, I'm trying to keep it to around five o'clock, right? So I'm gonna be eating all throughout the day. Today's gonna be a super busy day for me, but like I'm taking the next couple minutes to relax and have breakfast because after I get back up from sitting down to eat these, I'm gonna be up and moving all day. Let go. Okay guys, I have just left the shop. Uh, I got my hair did, which is why it's wrapped up. I have not eaten anything since that initial breakfast and so I am famished starved if you will right so i can't wait to get home and to eat 
the thing is I don't have anything immediately prepared like I'm having burgers and I'm having chicken thighs and like I have all the stuff in here that I'm supposed to be eating but none of it is cooked yet so I'm really upset about that because <laughs> this is why I like to meal prep because when I want to eat I want to eat now and I can't do that. So when I get home, I'm gonna cook everything, but the good news is I'm cooking to prep everything for the rest of the week, like all my other meals. But right now, like, I still got a good 30 minutes to an hour until I can eat, and that's tragic. So I am just gonna head home. Today's a beautiful day, I wanna make the most of it. All I really wanna do is eat, so I'll let you guys know. Okay guys, I have already manually shredded some block cheese and I just got finished chopping an onion. I did not want to show that to you. Like it's just, it was so boring and I wanted to get it out of the way, but I chopped up these amazing onions because I am going to caramelize them up. I'm gonna sweat them down and this will be one of the toppings for the burger that I'm having today. I'm so excited because I'm hungry. So I got this big pan here, Boom. just like that sizzle 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 so this will take you know a few minutes to cook down I want it to get fairly like sweated and cooked and caramelized if you will <sighs> then I got a bunch of other steps so I will show you along the way and then I'll show you the finished product okay while those onions are going I have these boneless skinless chicken thighs that I got from Meyer. you guys deboning and de-skinning chicken thighs I think once was enough I ever need to do it in my lifetime uh, so I figured I'd let them do it for me. No, like it actually wasn't that bad. If you want to see me debone and de-skin like raw chicken thighs, you can like click right there. But now that I know how to do it, I don't need to do it all the time. But I will tell you that I did make chicken skins like in the oven, like chicken chicharrones, if you will, out of those chicken skins and they were amazing. So that definitely won't be the last time I do that just to get the chicken skins alone, right? But this week I had to go with something easy. So for lunch, I'm having four ounces of chicken thighs. And so right now I'm gonna cook up all my chicken thighs for the week. Okay, now what is your silly and sexy? I wanna say sexy. Look at these booty cheeks. Look at these booty cheeks. <laughs> Instant regret. I'm never asking you to do anything ever again. Okay, baby, first of all, Look how great these onions are cooking down, right? Yeah, all caramely and soft. And then I put those chicken thighs just in olive oil, salt, and pepper. And don't let me forget this Tony Chichari? What? Chachari? Chichari? I don't know, original Creole seasoning. So there we go. That's close. this is hot. Close enough. Yeah, there's zero sugars in it. Uh, ingredients, salt, red pepper, black pepper, chili powder, woo, dehydrated garlic, uh, and then just like spices and stuff. So these have been cooking for four minutes on that one side. Do you think I should let them keep cooking or turn them? Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh, if you don't know, then we're screwed. I say try. Okay, I'll try one of them. Because you can always turn them again. Yeah. Oh, oh, whoa, wait a minute. Uh, that whoa. looks good. Whoa. You are such, such a great cook. No. Yes. You are amazing. That looks delicious. Oh, it's flavor. Mm. Skin. Schmidt. I don't need no skin. Okay, guys. The door is open because it was getting quite smoky in here because I put my burger. Yes, I put my burger on the skillet. You guys, look. I ended up taking my chicken thighs off of the stove and then cutting them up into pieces and then putting them back on the stove to heat up even more to get crust all on all sides of the chicken. And then I had originally bought lettuce to make like a lettuce wrap for my burger. So this burger is blue cheese and then you see those caramelized onions right there. But I had enough blue cheese and lettuce wraps to basically turn the chicken into lettuce wraps as well. So. I don't know if I'm going to put hot sauce on this. I don't know if I'm going to do anything. I'm just so hungry right now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my chicken thigh wraps. One of my chicken thigh lettuce wraps. Okay. I'm just going to, with the blue cheese, 
Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. Mmm. Mmm. First of all, blue cheese is delicious. I absolutely love it. Second of all, cutting up the chicken and then putting it back in the skillet to get that crust on all sides was definitely the right move. You guys know if meat gets a little too gummy and chewy, I can't really deal with it. So, like, you would probably call this burnt or overcooked, but, like, this is perfect for me. Like, it's crusty and chewy. Mmm. Perfect. Mmm-hmm. So, I might add some hot sauce in them. I got my blue cheeseburger. God, I'm going to need two hands. But she said, okay, a nice little pocket has formed right there. Okay, so this is just the burger, blue cheese, and those onions. Mmm, oh my god. Just don't even need hot sauce. It doesn't need anything. Mmm. You guys, I know onions are higher in carbs. But I made room, okay? Because I love onions. Whoa. Okay, so I'm not going to lie. This was a lot of work. And on the plate, it looks really weird and messy. But honestly, this all tastes delicious. Okay, guys, words cannot describe how filling, like, it's satisfying and, like, savory, but light and crunchy. Like, just the chicken was amazing. The burger was amazing. Like, that was delicious. Like, that was such a pleasant surprise. I literally had no idea when I made those chicken thighs, but it was a thing of beauty. Speaking of thing of beauty, there goes my husband outside working in the yard. He's trying to cut the grass. I don't think the lawnmower started. Did the lawnmower start? I didn't try. Oh, you didn't try? What'd you go out there for? Okay, but as great as that meal was, the even better part is that there are three sets of like food or three snacks left, right? So the first thing I'm working on because I wanted to have some time to set up in the refrigerator is I just whipped eight tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. Then I'm about to add a block of softened cream cheese to it. And then I'm going to add some cocoa powder. And that is going to be my chocolate mousse dessert. Okay, guys, next up we have a skillet pizza. So basically this is just 17 pepperonis. And then I put one ounce of mozzarella and two ounces of cheddar cheese on here. Heated this up in the microwave for two minutes until everything got like crusty and burnt like there's still so much cheese and pepperoni grease on the plate here i'm really excited okay so i'm just gonna pick up a pepperoni Woo! so hot mmm yep the microwave dries out the pepperoni the cheese is hot and salty and stringy mmm i put some red pepper flake on this of course to make it spicy it's so good and then in between the pepperonis, you just have like random spurts of cheese. Oh my goodness, yeah. So I had burgers, I had like lettuce wraps, now I got pizza. Like, this week is already shaping up to be amazing. Mm-hmm. I like your hat. Okay. Oh yeah, do get a hat on. I could hate forgetting. It's a hard day at work. Oh my gosh. It's a working man's hat and a woman. <laughs> okay guys, round four, the penultimate food is that chocolate mousse that I made, that chocolate and cream cheese and heavy whipping cream, like, it is thick. I put some nut topping on top, just to add a crunch factor. Mm-hmm, mm. This is smooth, chocolatey, crunchy with the nuts. Okay guys, and we finally end the day with some familiar favorites. I got two and a half ounces of moon cheese and I have a Quest Bar. Like, it was always my plan to end the day like this. That cocoa, heavy whipping cream, cream cheese fat bomb situation, that was just pre-dessert dessert maybe? Like a, a dessert appetizer, right? Because this is dessert. I've been having moon cheese every eating day for like the past month and I never get tired of it. Never ever and so i wanted to go with convenience this week and have something quick and easy and chocolatey and delicious so i have this double chocolate chunk quest bar so i'm gonna eat these i'm going to drink more water and it's late so i may or may not have a soda like after this like i've had such an awesome delicious random variety of food today and it's been really satisfying. So I'm about to end the day with these and I'll let you know if I have anything else, but like today has been a good day. Maddie, Maddie, are you too comfortable on the bed? Maddie, what are you doing sitting down here in the middle of the bed like this? 
Madeline. Oh, you were just too comfortable, matey. You were just too comfortable. Give me, give me Pow. Matey, Pow. Like, she's literally scared of the camera. Pow. Matey. Give me Pow. Here. I just touched a hamburger with this hand. Mmm, you smell the meats? Mmm, give me Pow. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, give me Pow. Pow. Maddie, give me Pow. Oh, you did it. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Today was a great eating day. Yes. I tried so many random things. I, I cooked so much food. You got so many you dishes are dirty. That's chicken so wrap many. And a pizza and everything. Yeah, else. and a burger with mm. sauteed onions and blue cheese. Mm. Ooh, so wee! And then I had some cool. delicious chocolate fluff. And then I finished the day with uh, moon cheese and a Quest bar. What? And I'm pretty sure that was all under or around 20 net carbs. Like no, that's crazy. how crazy it was. Like it was soups clean. Mm -hmm. Like I know, right? So that was a great day. I did end up having a Sprite Zero, yes. so I had a Sprite. But I heard. over, you heard the yeah, I heard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and the and the chug, chug and the chugging, okay. refreshing sound. Aha, the bubbles. <laughs> but today was a great day. Like that chicken was such a pleasant surprise mm -hmm. and the onions were delicious. Like yes. everything was great. I look forward to uh, having this meal prep like again, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, other than that, like I am super tired now, so I'm gonna go to sleep. Mm -hmm. I just want to just check in, see what uh, my husband was we're doing. We're about to go to bed. We're about to go to bed. To you're not bed. about to go to bed. I, you're I, gonna... was, I was taking those headphones off to no, go to sleep. No, you're gonna be up for like three more hours. Okay guys, we will catch you next week, okay? Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. Okay, you're so bye you guys. Mm. Cause you said forever, now I drive along past your street. I, you never call me wifey poo. What are you talking about? I always call you wifey poo. You never call me wifey poo. Call, you record? You ain't supposed to Yes, I record. Oh, I don't know who you're talking to though, cause you sure as heck ain't talking to me. I'm talking to my wife. You are not talking to me. <laughs>